lawyer for President Trump reportedly floated the idea of pardoning two, I think maybe three, former advisers, Michael Flynn, Paul Manafort, and Rick Gates. Judge Napolitano is with us now. Judge, I misquoted you. It was Senator Lindsey Graham who said, you offer those pardons and it's the beginning of the end of the Trump presidency. Would you agree with that? I, I agree that if a statement like that comes from Lindsey Graham, it is probably representative of a broad, uh, across the, the aisle spectrum of senators who would believe that the president, I don't know if it's true or not, was pardoning people in order to prevent them from testifying against himself. Now, the pardons would be lawful, but that itself could be an act of obstruction of justice. Now, I don't know if John Dowd offered these pardons. We believe he did. New York Times says it. Those of us who watch these things also have our own uh, sources on it. So it would depend upon, and this is almost impossible to prove, Stuart, what was in his mind. So if in his, in his mind was the president is taking pity on you, you're his friend and former colleague, he doesn't want you to suffer, he believes you're being wrongly prosecuted, the pardon is perfectly lawful, absolutely appropriate, and unassailable. But if the purpose of the pardon was to interfere with their spilling any beans about the president to Bob Mueller, then the very offer itself could be an obstruction of justice against John Dowd. This would be catastrophic for the president if one of his former lawyers, Dowd's the one who resigned uh, last right. week, one of his former lawyers got in the crosshairs of special counsel. Look, I think most of our viewers, and perhaps myself included, we're confused about all of this lot. We don't know all these names, what mm. they did, where they're coming yeah. from, what they're supposed to have done, pardons. We don't know what on earth is going on. Do you think there is something that, I mean, I'm asking for an opinion here, yeah. not a fact, but do you think there is something there which is an impeachable offense committed by our president will take him out of office? I don't know the answer to that, but I do know, and I've used this analogy before, so forgive me for repeating myself, it's a 10,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. And some of the puzzles are infinitesimal. And there's some parts that are put together and clear, and other parts that are, are not. And only one person has seen that puzzle. Mueller. Mueller. So we don't know what he has and what he doesn't have. But he tipped his hand in a tantalizing way Tuesday night when he filed a document in federal court in Alexandria, Virginia. It was a sentencing memorandum on this Swedish lawyer who pleaded guilt, guilty to lying to FBI agents, Alexander van der Zvar, whose father-in-law is a Russian oligarch and in the close circle of Vladimir Putin. In the sentencing memorandum, Mueller said, and we have learned from two witnesses of person A. Person A is a Russian intelligence agent who spoke to the campaign regularly in the fall of 2016. Now, why would Bob Mueller be revealing that? And why would he reveal it in a document having to do with somebody else? To address the no collusion crowd, that there is a little something there. I'm trying to answer your question. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I'm, I'm almost have to read tea leaves here, uh, uh, Stuart. I wish that I had the whole file in front of me and could examine it and, and explain it to you. But, but, you know, we won't know all this until Mueller reveals it. Well, it's a tea leaf and you read it. Thank right? you. Uh, yeah. Judge, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you again later. You got